How's it going guys and welcome back to Mali Club. I uh, hope everyone's alright and everyone's doing well. Uh, I've got quite a bit here to show at the moment um, instead of letting it all build up for a video at the end of the month. Um, I might as well show it off now plus a few uh, talking points as well. Uh, so to start off with uh, it's a console. This is my uh, original console. Uh, it's been at my dad's for ages um, and I've not seen this console since um well about 23 23 24 years um 1997 i can't really bother with doing the maths uh so yeah i think that's some sort of console was 1997 um so i've managed to get the console back i'm still uh, trying to find my old um make cd games um but i needed something to test out just to make sure it all works still so i've picked up a few uh, mega drive and mega cd games uh, in this bundle but anyways i want to show the console off because you guys will have a, a laugh with this so we have a mega drive 2 but unfortunately it's on a mega cd one yeah so i am looking um to buy a mega drive uh one and i have been talking to uh, a couple of people about um buying one as well because that's got to be replaced well, the good thing is I've got a reason to replace it because the reset button I can't get to work on that um, Mega Drive 2, which I believe you need to open the disk drive for on the Mega CD if you don't use the controller. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, funny story about the Mega Drive, the Mega CD uh, shows how much it's been, how long it's been since I last played it. Um, I couldn't even, I, I forgot how you open the disk drive on it. I was looking for an open button, I couldn't find one. <coughs> Excuse me. I had to Google it and I realised you had to press the start and A to get to the menu to open disk drives. Yeah. Uh, I cracked up when I realised what happened. So, yeah. So, I've got um, car boot finds, I've got CEX, and I've got games I picked up uh, at the Black Country Games Fair as well. So, I think I'll start off with the car boot stuff. So, um,. The guy I mentioned in my last video sold me all the um, the games in the last video. Craig uh, contacted me and seen if I fancy going to a car boot with him. Now I've lost um, hope in car boots at the moment. Same as charity shops, you know. I think that golden age is gone. But I thought, you know, fear of missing out, I'm gonna come anyway because you know he he picked up uh, good stuff from there. Not like holy grails, but he does find some decent stuff. So I thought, you know, fear of missing out, I'll come. And to be honest, um, I don't think I did too bad. So to start off with, I picked up um, a steering wheel. Uh, this is com this does come with its um, pedals. Um, I've just disconnected it from the breakaway cable. So I believe this is a Thrustmaster 5-in-1. Um, um, I've not tested it yet, but from what I've checked out so far, like the buttons, with the gear shifting, um, it doesn't it doesn't I, don't, I can't see not working let's just say that i paid um five pound for this uh, which i don't think is too bad um i think cx eight for 25 but um saying Saturn lad i think scott in one of his videos stated um that if you're going to buy hardware from a car boot uh piece of advice would be only pay only only willing to pay like a non-working price for it because last thing you want is to take someone's um, advice or opinion and they state that their item works and you get it back home and it doesn't. At least if it doesn't work, I've only lost £5. I mean, if I wanted to trade it, I'd double my money. So, yeah, I was uh, quite happy to find that. Next is a Mega Drive game. Um, so, the coincidence of me getting my Mega Drive Abomination back um, and then finding a Mega Drive game at a car boot. Um, yeah, great stuff. So I picked this up because obviously I need to test that the Mega Drive works um, while I'm waiting to get my old games back. So I picked up um, NBA Jam. Now for you purists out there, it does come with the hang tab. Uh, it does have its um, Sega sticker and uh, it does have its uh, manual. Uh, I hope that's the right way a cart goes around. Correct me if I'm wrong guys. Um, Funny enough, this is the first Mega Drive game I've ever bought with my own money. Uh, only time I've ever actually owned Mega Drive games is with the bundle when I bought this originally. But I have never actually paid for a Mega Drive game before uh, from a shop or anywhere. So yeah, milestone moment that is. Um, 
next will be uh, just PS3 games. Um, I think I only paid a pound a piece for these. Um, I think most of them are complete. I haven't really gone through them yet. Um, so this is a series. Uh, I have touched on it in the past. Um, I've got uh, Quest for Booty on um, the hard drive because obviously back in the day when uh, PlayStation Network got hacked, uh, as an apology, they gave game, um, people that were signed up uh, two free games and uh, I picked up uh, Quest for Booty. Uh, Ratchet and Clank uh, at that bundle, but I've never fully put the time in to sit down and play a Ratchet and Clank game. I've played the PS4 one, um, which I did enjoy. Uh, again, just not completed it. But anyways, I picked up um, Ratchet and Clank: Tools of Destruction. Um, another game I picked up. I brought this. I think on launch day. So all the DLC that came with it, or the the extra bonus, um, I still have it. It's on my PS3 hard drive. Um, and that's Medal of Honor T1 edition. Uh, shame what happened with the Medal of Honor franchise, you know. Call of Duty just swamped it in the end, but in the PS2, I don't think you've got to touch Medal of Honor. Um, next is uh, a franchise I've never gone into before, um, and that's Skate. I was more um, Tony Hawk's player than I was uh, anything else, but apparently, Skate's really good to play, so yeah. Uh, next is a game I thought I already owned, and it wasn't. I I had it back in the day off my brother, and I must have got rid of it. Um, it's Race Driver Grid. Uh, next, um, I believe um, this isn't a racing game. I think you basically just do um, stunts in like it tries to make up movies in the game, and then you have to do stunts for the movies. Um, that is Stuntman Ignition. So there's that one. Uh, next is um, Fuel. I believe this is like a uh, motor storm. So yeah, hopefully that's okay. Uh, and then lastly for the uh, PS3 bundle is uh, Need for Speed Rivals. And I believe this completes. Uh, well, it doesn't complete, no it doesn't. Um, I don't think I'm missing that many off the Need for Speed set now for the PS3. And then lastly, um, I managed to find a copy of uh, WWE 2K18. Um, I think it was 2K20, that was the glitched one. So yeah, uh, bulks up my uh, Xbox One collection. So next will be um, CX pickups. So um, I just went to CX just to get some um, shelf filler really, because obviously I'm actively now going for the um, UK PS3 set. Um, at the moment, I'm going to try and go off the CEX listing, which I believe is four, uh, 1,412, I believe. Um, but I know they sometimes delist games, so I know it's not an accurate representation. Um, but I can't find a uh, full UK list anywhere at the moment. So, yeah, so I picked up a couple of shelf fillers. Um, so I've picked up um, Rainbow Six Vegas. And I picked up um, Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Uh, I actually play Rainbow Six Siege online. Uh, I have a team and uh, we play it quite a bit. I know Siege is more an online multiplayer. Um, and it's not going to play as good as... Well, it's not going to play uh, like them two. But I'll be interested to see how the Vegas games are. Um, next is two games I saw. And I thought these were worth... Well, I thought they'd be more expensive than what they was. Um, so I picked up um, Blaze Blue uh, Calamity Trigger. Uh, this is an Arc System Works game. Um, they're known for their 2D anime art. Um, they've done um, Guilty Gear. And I believe they did um, the Dragon Ball Fighters game as well, which uh, I enjoy. And I also picked up um, Blaze Blue uh, Continuum Shift. So yeah, happy to have them. And then I also picked up um, Everybody's Gold for the PS4. Uh, I was looking for this actively a couple of months ago and I just couldn't find a decent copy. Um, I like Everybody's Golf. I know the servers on this one has shut down. Um, so most of the, the uh, well, half the game's missing because I think it was more tailored to um, online gaming. But, you know, 
for what for the single player content i don't mind playing that so yeah next will be um black country games fair so again uh last weekend uh Ant and dana hosted their uh second black country games fair uh, my personal opinion i absolutely loved it uh, a lot more uh sellers there so uh more tailored to uh retro games community also there was people um selling pokemon cards as well so yeah it was more i think it was more tailored to us guys than the last one was um i actually enjoyed it you know it's good to catch up with um all fellow youtubers who, who i've met before you know i'll try and list them off um so um yeah i met um uh, big game Al and uh paul nick northerner again um it was, I, I, it, I always speak to someone the four guys stream you know so it's good to actually see them again in person uh good to see rob and as well um good to see dale daily retro was there as well i didn't get much time to speak to dale which uh hopefully one day i will do um sean was there with uh his daughter joe and it was nice to meet joe for the first time every time you see sean you know he cracks you up just the way he, you know he's just his smile and always makes me laugh um russ was there um stalling out with uh claire retro repair bear um had a nice chat with russ uh eddie was there um stalling out with dylan as well um so it's good to see those guys again i went and bumped into uh james retro import gamer as well i didn't get much time to talk to james every time i try to talk to james he's always talking to someone um i didn't want to disturb the conversation but you know it's good to see that you know a lot of the interactions is going on between you guys anyway so um i know there was some youtubers that were stalling out as well um either i didn't know them or um with a case with one uh, i didn't realize who he was until i left so uh yeah i was basically just looking at the stock uh and i never even looked up to see who it was uh but the one um guy who i did speak to uh who was stalling out finally was um stu to uk a uh, real nice pleasure to meet stu um i've watched Stu for many years um when i had my first collection um i was going for a uh, saying saturn set and stu put his video up when he completed um he's for uk pal saying saturn set so yeah jealous uh me being jealous was a bit let's just say would be an understatement but yeah we had a nice chat you know and it's uh great to meet him after uh all these years of me watching him anyway so yeah i did buy some um games of stew as well uh where have i just put them yeah here they are i did buy some games of stew uh i think i actually said to me to buy your ps3 tat as well so yeah awesome times so um, Stu had a, an offer of PS3 games, um, six five pound. Uh, I picked up six, uh, and I realised I was on a faux pas on one. Um, well, I'll go into it anyway. So obviously, I, I picked up Medal of Honor in um, car bit, I think it was, and I managed to get a Medal of Honor Warfighter in limited edition. Uh, these are complete as well, as you expect. Um, next is a game i don't know nothing about uh i just believe it's a story game basically is vin diesel wilma so yeah there's that one uh let me six seconds he's gonna fall that's it uh this game uh i was so gutted when it actually came out because when it was announced i was hyped when i saw trailers i was hyped when it was released it was bad um Aliens Colonial Marines. Uh, I absolutely love the Alien franchise. So, yeah, it was absolutely got you when that came out. Uh, another game that I believe wasn't well received when it came out, but I just want to play it, is um, Bionic Commando. Um, yeah, I know it's a Capcom franchise, so I can't believe it's not as good as... Well, I can't believe it failed anyway. And then lastly is the fail... Um, Basically, what's happened is obviously because I got uh, eye condition, um, I didn't realise I picked up two copies of the same game. There was like a little label variant on the side, and I didn't really know it's but it's fine. I can use the case for uh, replacement anyway. So that is uh, F1 2010. So yeah, uh, cheers, Stu, for those. Uh, hopefully, I'll uh, meet you again as well. Uh, next, um, I picked up a Mega CD game from. I believe it was um, Get Gaming Store. 
which is based in Gornal, Dudley. Uh, again, obviously, I've just got my Mega CD back. I need to test the Mega CD works. Um, so I picked up um, Sega uh, Arcade Classics Collection. I do actually already own this, uh, but again, I can't find my copy at the moment. So uh, this will do for the time being. It is complete, so and the disc is in real nice condition. So happy to have that. Uh, and then I went to um, Eddie's store, Eddie and Dylan's store. Um, didn't get much time to speak to Dylan because uh, he was always, he, again, like with James, he was always engaged in conversation, so I didn't want to disturb him. But I did have a nice chat with uh, Eddie. Um, Eddie had a copy of uh, Road Avenger for the Mega CD, and I never played Road Avenger, but obviously because it's not exactly an expensive game, I thought, well, I could pick that up, and that would um, be to test uh, the Mega CD. But uh, Eddie insisted that uh, I should try something else, and uh, he picked up this title. Now, I have seen this do the rounds uh, on other people's videos that they state that it's really, uh, it's a really good game. Uh, and I have actually played it. Now, I'm not the greatest with um, shooters, um, but I got to like, the third boss, I think, uh, without dying. And to be honest, I really enjoyed it. So uh, I picked up off Eddie, um, Silphied. Uh, Real nice condition, this is all complete. Um, really good, it's like a shooter, but it's like an FMV in the background. I don't know if you can see it just there. Like an FMV in the background. Um, yeah, really good game. Uh, hopefully this may start me uh, picking up shooters. I have tried shooters in the past. I've tried Ikaruga before, and I've tried Radiant Silver Gun, and I just suck at them. But I wasn't too bad on that, so yeah. Um, and then lastly, I've got a bit of a hack that I've discovered. So, I've been looking at ways to display um, my SNES carts and all my Nintendo carts better than what they have been. Um, and then, obviously, for those that know, I work at uh, Home Markings part-time at the moment. And they've started getting these in. Now, these are uh, called three-tier shelf organisers. Uh, it does have rubber on the top, so it's like non-slip rubber. Um these were £2.99 each, so I thought, well, you know, I'll take a punt, I'll see if, it, you know, it works, and to be honest, um, I don't think it's, it doesn't look, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it may do, the only problem is, uh, it near enough does what I wanted it to do, it just does not do um, NES carts, but for N64, for SNES carts, and I believe any other carts of those dimensions, uh, it would work. Um, I've got some footage um, that I've taken, um, so that you'll notice a difference in the lighting. Uh, the footage was taken yesterday, because I originally recorded this video yesterday, but due to uh, memory space, I couldn't upload it, so I've had to re-record this video. So, yeah, I'll show the footage after the video, uh, and you'll see and see how you feel. I mean, for £2.99, um, I don't think you could moan for like a bit of a quick fix. Uh, for those that need to know the dimensions, um, it's 37 by 24.5 by 8.5 centimetres. Um, they originally are used for um, holding bean cans, uh, bean cans in um, cupboards. But yeah, you know, it does work. So if you guys are struggling to display carts, maybe give this idea a go. So yeah, so that's it for a good few weeks or so. I've got a busy pack month coming up i've got my 40th i've got my mom's retirement i've got my dad's 70th i've got a couple of birthdays to go to as well so i think i might do a 40th birthday special um talking about games maybe that define um my journey in gaming or you know like things like my first game i ever bought first game i ever completed um yeah i think i might do something like that also if i got any pickups during the birthday um i'll show them off as well um, so yeah, so slowly but surely cracking down on the uh, PS3 um, collection now. I've done a count and that puts me at 180 games exactly now. So yeah, you know, I've got a long way to go. But slow, so slowly but surely, you know, I'll get there. Anyways guys, uh, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully speak to you guys soon anyway. Uh, take care people. See ya. So as you see guys, this is how they uh, display. 
uh, the back row of the Super Nintendo is a bit wonky, um, but it does look pretty decent. You can get in each row, um, you can get um, nine, nine, nine. And for Nintendo 64, you can do the same as well. So yeah, really chuffed that this uh, worked out. Um, again, it doesn't really work well for uh, the NES games, which are up there. Um, I'll try and work out a better way to display them. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. See you later.